G'day, it's Heath here from PickingLessons.com. John Ryan's Poker, this is a great tune to play on the banjo in a melodic style. We're in the key of D, we're in standard G, open G tuning, uh, we're in 2-4 time. There are two variations, you've got the down the neck and you've got the up the neck. In a moment we're going to take a look at part A of the down the neck variation. If you head to PickingLessons.com you'll be able to get yourself a copy of the chart we're working from, plus uh, the follow up lessons as well in the members section and some play along and backing tracks there as well. So PickingLessons.com. Let's have a look at this first part A, down the neck. We'll go through it nice and slow first and then we'll break it down. Have a look at some exercises to help us get to know the tune. One and two and. <laughs> Okay, there was a slow playthrough of the first variation of part A. Now, we are in the key of D, we're in standard open G tuning, we don't need to change a thing. Uh, we're in 2-4 time, so 2 beats per measure, 1, 2, 1, 2. We have some rhythm variations that are quite tricky and the tempo is quite fast. The right hand combination of fingers can be a bit challenging as well, so technique in terms of right hand and then the tempo actually makes this quite difficult to play. Let's break it down and have a look at what we need to do. First measure, the technique here or the roll that we need, middle finger, middle finger, index thumb, middle index, just to cover those notes. We need our thumb on the next uh, measure. We can play the next measure as thumb, 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 thumb. That's an easy one. So measures one and two, just slowly. This is gonna be an exercise. Ready, and. So first step, I would really spend some time on that. That is quite challenging when the tempo increases. It's played quite fast. It's a fast tempo tune, so that index thumb, middle index thumb passage through what we just played is quite challenging, so work on that, spend some time on it. Let's just try it once more. Ready, and. Spend many times repeating that. That's really first step. Let's have a look at what's happening in the next variation though. Very similar. So the variation there just changes on the run down to the open D. Now you could bring those four bars together, that would be the next step. So let's try that. Ready and. Now looping that will be a great exercise. Keep it slow, get the Just really working on getting that right hand, drilling it in. That's really important. Looking at the second half of this tune, it's eight measures. It's quite short because we're in two, four times. So the second half, we have a very similar variation again. But we have a different uh, variation on the end before the repeat. Changing position. This is important here. Second finger on fifth fret will lead us into Let's have a look from those two notes there. Open and five, second finger into fret four with first finger. Middle thumb, middle. Then middle finger. That last part is pretty straightforward. Just watch your timing. Remember we have two beats in each bar. We have sixteenth, we have eighths, and we have quarter notes there on the end. Let's play measures five through eight. Ready and. Just watch that rhythm there. So, the hardest part about this section of the tune is going to be the that roll, that variation of rhythm there that we have at the beginning and repeats through part A. That's, this is an exercise that you really want to spend some time on. Really try and drill that in, drill it in, drill it in. That is the most challenging part of this section of the tune. When we move into part B, 
part B is actually quite straightforward compared to what we just played. So take your time, drill in that section of the, of the tune, build that technique into your playing so that as we increase the tempo, because it's quite quick, you can just play that without thinking about it. You're pulling those fingers into place as they need to be. Okay, take your time with it and do spend some serious practice time on that variation we spoke about. You really do need to if you want to play this tune. Okay, so if you head over to pickandlessons.com, we will continue this lesson over to part B of the down the neck variation, and we'll have a look at part A and B there as well. In the member section for the second variation, you've got the chart that we've been working from, plus some backing and play along tracks there as well. Pickandlessons.com, I'll see you there.